Hey, what's up everyone? For today's video, we will be solving a reinforced concrete uh, problem. No? So problem 1, a 4.5 simply supported rectangular reinforced concrete beam has a width of 300 mm and an effective depth of 530 mm and a total depth of 600 mm. The beam is to be reinforced with 20 mm diameter bars. The concrete strength is 21 MPa and FY 275 MPa. Okay? The beam carries a precast uh, 100 mm thick concrete slab that is for meter wide okay the unit weight of concrete is 24 kN newton per cubic meter uh, when the floor live load is 2.4 kPa at ultimate condition u is equal to 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 dead load okay so the required are calculate the factored moment uh, determine the governing steel ratio based on NACP requirements and determine the minimum number of 20 mm diameter bars required as tension reinforcement okay so let's solve first the uh, ultimate moment no? ultimate factored moment so so number one okay so, uh, we have the dead load which is the uh, uh, self weight of the beam uh, added by the uh, concrete slab that is four meter wide so this will become the unit weight of the concrete no unit weight of the concrete which is 24 kilonewton per cubic meter uh, this is multiplied no times what uh, it should be multiplied to the depth uh, sorry to the width which is four meters times the thickness of 0 0.1 meter okay plus uh plus the self weight of the beam which is the unit weight kilonewton per cubic meter times the uh dimension of the beam no? so that's 0 0.3 meters times uh 0 0.6 that's 0 0.6 it's, it should be the total depth okay so we have a total dead load of 15.92 kilonewton per meter okay so uh, this is meter squared and this is cubic meter cancel so that's a uh, meter only right next is the live load no live load is a floor live load 2.4 kpa uh, multiplied by uh by the width no that's four that should be four okay and meters okay equals to 9.6 kilonewton per meter okay uh, consi uh, this unit shall be consistent now in order to add so our u now is be will be 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load okay 1.2 times 13.92 plus 1.6 times 9.6 okay our ultimate load 32.064 kilonewton per meter okay so this will be our figure this is our simply uh, supported beam sorry uh, this should be okay uh, pin and roller no? okay this is our uh, uniformly distributed load so okay WO to consider this length and this one will be W times the length of the beam divided by 2 and so as to this one no? where to so in order to come up the ultimate moment uh, uh, the maximum moment no in a nor uh, in a normal uh in a distributed beam will occur in the mid span by deriving this formula no uh, we can get the maximum moment no uh just cut in the mid span here because that uh, we know that the maximum moment will occur in the mid span when the load is normally distributed okay so this will become like this one and okay this is w oh this is wl over two and this is okay l over 2 and we have moment here so moment moment will equal to wl over 2 times the uh, distance perpendicular distance minus w times l over 2 times half of l over 2 is l over 4 okay this will become wl squared over 4 minus wl squared over 8 which will yield to wl squared over 8 Okay, so take note uh, when the load is distrib normally distributed, no, or equally distributed uh, along the span, the maximum moment is W L squared over eight. Okay, so the maximum factor moment will be our uh, distributed load thirty two thirty two point zero six four uh, times the length. Our beam length here is four point five meters times 4.5 squared all over 8 
So our, okay, I can see this MU, no? Ultimate moment. MU will yield to 81.162 kilonewton meter. Okay. So this is our answer. To determine the governing steel ratio, no? Of the NACP. Okay, number two. Governing. So in order to solve for the steel ratio, uh, we will use the this uh, form uh, I don't know, a pattern which is we have the MU. Next is get the RN. When you get the RN, you can solve for rho. Then when you get the rho, you will solve for the AS. So we can stop here, no? But to check, no? The minimum uh, steel ratio requirement. So by our answer in in the maximum moment which is this one okay okay, okay. having the moment uh, we can solve for rn okay rn is equals to uh, mu over phi b d squared okay so our mu is 81.162 uh, convert this to newton mm so that's that will be multiplied by 10 to the 6 okay then uh, our phi or reduction factor is 0 0.9 our uh, width is 300 mm next our d is the effective depth no? that should be 530 squared okay this will yield to to 1.07013 the unit for this one is newton per mm okay no mu bd squared newton mm right this is in kilo newton mm cancel okay this should be in mm squared now our rn we can solve for rho rho is equals to 0 0.85 f prime c over uh, fy times 1 minus square root of 1 minus 2 rn 0 0.85 f prime c right 0 0.85 times 21 mpa over 275 mpa 1 minus 1 minus 2 times 1.071013 over 0 0.85 of 21 mpa okay our rho will be 0 0.85 zero zero four uh zero one five six okay uh okay so this is our row let's compare it to a uh, row minimum our row minimum is one point four f y which is zero point zero zero five zero nine one okay since our row is less than the Romin, so uh, Romin uh, governs, okay. So use Romin, okay. So, in order to solve for so this will be our answer for number two, okay. Okay, for number three, determine the minimum number of neural required as tension reinforcement, okay. So, because we use, we will have to use the Romin so that. Our formula here should be rho, uh, rho min is equals to area of steel over area of the concrete. So that is 0 0.005091 is equals to area of steel, that's pi over 4 times the 20 mm squared times the number of bars, okay? Number of bars divided by area of our concrete, which is width times the effective depth. It's 300 times 530. Okay, so our N is 0 0.005091 times 300 times 530 all over pi over 4 times 20 squared. So our number of bars should be, uh, by using our calculator, no, we will have to get the value of 2.57. So meaning, uh, we should round up in order to uh, to achieve, no? because there is no 2.5 bar, we should, we should use 3 pieces of 20 sorry 20 mm bar diameters so this is our final answer